morning, everybody. Dear really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Hakuoki Kyoto Wins. We are along Chikage Kazuma's route in Chapter 5. So, uh, don't think we have too much left, and I'm actually recording this the same night that I recorded the last episode, so I have not had a chance to check to see if this was normal along Kazuma's route or not. I can't remember if we talked to Kaldru and Father here at this point in Demon of the Fleeting Blossom or not. But anyway, let's continue on. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. It has been some time, Chizuru. How have you been, my child? Horrible, why did you abandon me? Father greeted me with a warm smile, and all of a sudden I felt like we were back in Edo. If I was unaware of all that he had been accused of by the Shinsengumi, then I may have possibly welcomed him with a tight hug. <laughs> However, I took a step back as he came closer. Chizuru, what's the matter? You know what's the matter. Father. Honestly, I didn't want to ask him this. More than anything, I just wanted to take solace in the fact that we were seeing each other after over four years. Tell me, is it true that you were performing research that turned humans into monsters with the Shinsengumi? How could you do such a thing? Didn't you become a doctor because you wanted to save people's lives? <sighs> I'll explain, Chizuru my adorable little sister. I'm your little sister? Yes, and I'm your twin brother. After the Yukimura village was destroyed, I was adopted by the Nagumo clan. This is proof alone of our relationship. That's... That's right. This is Daitsuren, the partner Kodachi to your Shotsuren. This is a family heirloom that has been passed down through each generation of Yukimura. <sighs> Father, is what Kaoru's saying true? Yes. We were hoping to speak with you about these matters eventually. Not in the middle of the road? <sighs> when Sen had visited the Shinsengumi a long time ago, she told me that I possessed the blood of a demon. It hasn't quite sunk in yet that I have a twin brother who was standing in front of me. Father, tell me one thing. Do we really come from a demon clan? Father smiled kindly. I don't blame you for not realizing it right away, but yes, that is correct. You are the heir to the Yukimura legacy, meaning that you are destined to lead our clan to greatness. Me? What about Kaoru? Finally, you have come to accept it. Nothing could make me happier. Who says I accept it? Questions that I had had about myself for years were finally receiving answers. When I was a child, I realized I was a little different from the other kids. All the things Sen and Kazuma told me before. They were coming together at once. And I... I'm a demon. So, the hell are you creating these fakes for? What you're doing is disgraceful. You're sullying the nobility of our demon heritage. Don't you see? It's to restore the Yukimoto clan. Restore the Yukimoto clan? With the help of the Nogumo clan, I have finally perfected the water of life. With this... We can overthrow the Shogunate and take credit for its success. If that were to happen, then the powers that be in this country could no longer control us. It's time for us to reclaim what's rightfully ours and seek vengeance against the humans who destroyed our village. Why so glum, Chizuru? Aren't you excited to lead the Yukimura clan? Now we can create a life of peace where no one would dare threaten us ever again. Not such a bad deal, don't you agree? <laughs> There was so much to take in, and I was speechless from everything Calder and Father had said. How could they be serious? Did they really think the Water of Life could defeat the Shogunate and restore our clan? All those lives sacrificed for what? For this? This sickens me. I'm with you. Let's get out of here and get married. You want credit for overthrowing the Shogunate. All you're doing is interrupting the petty squabble of human affairs. Such an endeavor is beneath us, demons. Sure, sit on your high horse, but... Weren't you working with the Satsuma as well, Kazuma? What makes you think you're any better than us? <sighs> Kazuma seethed with contempt, and his eyes glowed with hatred toward Kaoru. To what extent he had been involved with the Satsuma, I do not know. At least, though, I knew it wasn't something as selfish as trying to gain notoriety for toppling the Shogunate. Instead of responding right away, Kazuma fixed his gaze on me and spoke calmly. 
Mind if I kill all of them right here and now? Look, if it were me, I'd say go ahead, babe. But, you know, it's Chizuru. No, I'll talk to them. Because I'm... I'm the head of the Yukimura clan. Hopefully they'll obey me. I am the descendant of the chief of the Yukimura clan. Ah, he likes that I'm taking charge. Huh. <laughs> Seems like just yesterday, you didn't even know you were a demon. Whatever. If you can swing it, be my guest. Okay. I took a deep breath before directing what I had to say at Kaoru. Kaoru. I've seen many men in the Shinsengumi become furies, so keep this in mind as I speak. If you think that serum is our solution, then I think we have no need to restore our clan. No need to restore our clan? You mean to say... You think we should just grit our teeth and accept the death of our clan? Our village was destroyed, our real parents were murdered, and you don't want revenge? Well... You're so naive, Chizuru. Besides, with or without the Furies or the Water of Life, humans will continue to engage in pointless conflicts until the extinction of their species. With all the corruption plaguing the future of this country, drastic steps need to be taken to prevent what happened from ever happening again. Kaoru... This is going nowhere, but it's to be expected. With an air of composure, Kazuma unsheathed his blade and stood in front of me. I believe killing another demon is a punishable act that makes the offender a stray demon. However, the crime of creating fake demons to me makes you even lower than that. Besides, as a demon lord, it is my duty to crush those who have strayed from the path of righteousness. I see. However, it's a little unfair to expect me to cross swords with a demon lord. So you're going to run like a coward? Father put two fingers to his lips, whistling loudly. Then... What the? Pairs of red eyes flashed in the nearby darkness. This can't be... Oh! What appeared were white-haired, red-eyed furies. It wasn't only one or two of them, either. Out of nowhere... Almost two dozen furies had appeared in front of us. Huh. You sure have been busy creating all these furies, haven't you? Kodo, I could murder you over a thousand times, and it still wouldn't be enough for me. The human world is about to welcome a new era. We demons need to rid ourselves of these archaic customs and adapt to survive. Furies, kill that man and feast on his blood. You have a little too much confidence in your creation, Dad. Father whistled once more, and the Furies had gathered around both Kazuma and I, and we could see their bloodthirsty eyes pick us apart. Oh. You think you can kill me and feast on my blood? What a joke. Do any of your pathetic weaklings really think you stand a chance against me? I know they don't. Kazuma stormed forth, slashing with grace at every Fury that stood in his path. However, striking anywhere other than a vital organ on a Fury meant they could still heal. Furthermore, these furies looked to be a huge improvement over the furies of the Shinsengumi. Just as this thought came to mind... Welcome back for you, Chizuru. Next time, I hope you give us a good answer. Wait! I tried running after them, but before I could even get close to them, Father and Kaoru vanished like smoke. I lost them, huh? After seeing them disappear... Kazuma turned around and slaughtered every remaining fury. He looked irate as he quickly sheathed his sword. After a moment, he turned to face me. Why are you still here in the first place? Where are the Shinsengumi? I kind of lost them. Uh, I wasn't sure if I should respond or not. I didn't want to share confidential information with Kazuma, who had been working with the Satsuma Domain. However... No matter how extreme he may have taken things, Kazuma did save me just now. I was on my way to Yodo Castle. Got it. So they abandoned the Fushimi Magistrate. So they had their asses at Yodo Castle, huh? <sighs> and those pitiful dogs wouldn't stop barking about protecting you. Why are you here alone? Um, 
My heart felt heavy as the memory of Inoue's death came back to the forefront of my mind. I couldn't get myself to put it into words. Perhaps my silence told him everything he needed to hear, and Kazuma slowly turned away. How ironic. Turns out the only one capable of keeping you safe when you needed them most was me, not them. <sighs> Kazuma's words were strangely playful, and he smiled smugly to me without any real malice. Although my doubts about Kazuma's character hadn't necessarily faded completely, it was true, he kept me safe. What do you plan to do now? I... will head to Yodo Castle. Seriously, I didn't get the picture there with what happened? I must rejoin the other warriors as soon as possible. Rejoin the Shinsengumi? Don't do that. Why not? I knew that Kazuma wasn't in any way fond of the Shinsengumi, so I wondered if that was an insult. Normally, I felt Kazuma had no right to tell me how to live my life. However, just for today, I didn't stop him from explaining himself. All of those areas have been taken over by the Satsuma. But if your idea of a good time is seeing the rotting corpses of your friends, be my guest. Well, thinking back to all that had been going on as we fled the Magistrate, Kazuma's words made sense. And if Kazuma had never stumbled upon me, I would likely have been brutally murdered as well. Even if I were to head to Yodo Castle, I had no guarantee it would do myself any good. However... Let me let you in on a secret. Yodo Castle's already defected over to the Sasuma Choshu side. What? The Yodo betrayed the Shogun army? I stared in disbelief at Kazuma. What? That can't be! They won't be able to enter Yodo Castle. It's only a matter of time until the Shinsengumi runs out of allies, and they're forced to give up. If you go now, you'll just be a burden to them. Don't go. <sighs> I wasn't expecting him to say any of this, and my chest felt a dull pain. Is that... true? What good would lying to you do me? Tokugawa's done for. <sighs> I actually think Kazuma could be telling the truth. His crimson eyes stared back at me solemnly. So, the Yodo Domain truly has betrayed the Shogunate. That's more of a reason for me to reunite with the Shinsengumi. <laughs> the Shinsengumi men don't know that the Yodo has betrayed us yet. If I tell them, maybe I can prevent them from walking into a trap. So, reuniting with them was even more important. Darling, you've got a real thick skull. Kazuma turned away from me and started walking toward the darkness. I watched him become engulfed by the thick trees, and I wasn't sure if I should follow him or not. Should I run, or...? <sighs> Kazuma doesn't seem to be manipulating me in any way, so I trusted my instincts and ran after him into the forest. Smart thing to do. Kazuma was hiking up away from the trail. It seemed like he was aiming for higher ground. The Imperial Court sent a message to every domain in the vicinity of Kyoto. Which I guess we'll hear now? It said, The Satsuma Choshu bear the gold brocade flag. Join us today. Gold brocade flag? This is a designation reserved for the Imperial Army, meaning anyone opposing them is a traitor. Then that means... The Imperial Army has validated the Satsuma Choshu's assumption of power. Well, wait a minute! Aren't the Choshu considered enemies to the Emperor because of the Hamagura Rebellion? How did they just get to become the Imperial Army, while the Shogun Army are labeled as traitors? How you've lived so long around humans without learning a goddamn thing is beyond me. When power changes hands, it's just human nature to start stabbing everyone else's backs. The Su Domain, Totori Domain, Geshu Domain and the Owari Domain. All of them are joining the Imperial Army. What? But Shogunate's headquarters are in Yodo, right? And the Owari Domain are the head of the three branches of the Tokugawa family. They've even produced actual Shoguns from their domain. How could such a domain betray the Shogunate? If you don't believe, see for yourself. Matsuri was taking me. Kazuma beckoned me to look from where he had been standing. awful truth. 
Oh. From our view all the way up in the forest, we watched as Kyoto was engulfed in flames. Cannons were firing into the shogunate buildings, and deathly cries echoed down there. The ones leading the attack were... Oh no, is that the Yodo Domain? It wasn't like I didn't believe what Kazuma was saying. It was more like, I wish he was actually lying to me. I would have been happier that way. I watched what the truth looked like below me, and it was tough to swallow. Like it or not, this war has been decided, and it's the Satsuma Choshu who won it all. When things fall apart like this, no matter how much you or your friends fight, it won't change. How did this happen? Lord Yoshinobu complied to their demands and restored power to the Emperor. You're so naive. Do you really think someone like him would just willingly give up all his power like that? Huh? The Imperial Restoration was just political lip service, so the Shogunate could keep the status quo. No way they'd let the Kuge, or an opposition daimyo, govern all of a sudden. I'm sure they all thought they'd all come to beg the Shogunate to rule, or that's what Yoshinobu hoped. The Satsuma were just two steps ahead. <sighs> Regardless, as long as the Satsuma Choshu have the Imperial Court on their side, they can do whatever the hell they want. In the end, all that matters is who controls the Imperial Court. That's the way this country works. The Shogunate should have worked harder to put more of their people in the Imperial Court. They had deep trust from the Emperor Kome and Lord Katamori Matsudara. I didn't know too much about politics or history, but... As the Choshu who attacked the Imperial Palace were distinguished as the Imperial Army, and the Shogunate, including the Shinsengumi, were labeled as traitors, I just couldn't believe it. Look, you and I are demons. Everything here, including the Shinsengumi, is a footnote, really. <sighs> I felt so powerless as Kazuma told me all of this. No matter how much I believed the Imperial Court was unfair, it wouldn't change anything. I knew this to be the case, but... I held on to a sliver of hope. But it's still not over yet. Maybe I'd wanted Kazuma to acknowledge that there could still be a chance for the Shinsengumi. I didn't fully trust Kazuma yet, but I trusted them enough to think that he respected me enough to be truthful with me. We still have soldiers at Osaka Castle. If we return to Edo, there may be more- Do I have to spell it out for you? They're done. Who in their right mind would willingly join a losing side? Face it, it's over. But- I'd wanted to offer one more rebuttal, but a sudden loud roar came from the city. Kazuma also picked up on the noise below, and it almost sounded like celebration. Looks like they broke out the gold brocade flag. Now it really is official. Do you believe me now? Well, actually the flag itself was made by a man named Okubo of the Satsuma just for me. I was dumbfounded hearing that. Wait, does that mean it's not real? I'm unsure where it came from. Suffice to say that if the Imperial Court trusts it, it's real. Now that Tokugawa has been officially named as an Imperial enemy, I'm sure they'll start handing out sentences to anyone affiliated with them. <sighs> I was overwhelmed with the sadness of defeat. I fell silent, and the two of us shared a heavy silence between us. Kazuma was waiting for me to speak up first. However, I didn't really have anything to say, but for the sake of breaking the tension, I asked him a question. So... What will become of the Satsuma Choshu from here, then? They'll rip the Tokugawa clan apart. Anything that can be taken will be taken. Their land, their ranks, their armies, everything. Why would they do such a thing? Same reasons as anything else. Money, political clout, power, and honor. Humans will give up their own family members if it meant gaining any one of those things. <sighs> The directness of his answer surprised me. I had thought that he'd keep all confidential manners concerning the Satsuma from me. And his indictment of humans annoyed me. So, you think that the only reason people fight is for money? Humans don't fight with honor. It's all just glorified robbery, sprinkled with crap platitudes. All they care about is power and money. There may be wars that have been fought over the reason you describe, but... Not 
everyone fights for just money or political mobility. Humans are all the same. The pursuit of power and money is only matched by the lengths they will go to to protect it. All weaklings can do is drag people down in their desperate attempt to survive. Or have you already forgotten the poor souls who tried attacking you earlier? Muggers, thieves, two-bit ronin, all the same. I didn't forget, thanks. But even so, my father and brother were working to benefit their own people by overthrowing the shogunate and making their name from doing so. How's that any better than humans who act on their own selfishness? It's not, that's why Kazuma tried to kill them. <laughs> Besides, there are plenty of people who aren't fighting for themselves, but rather to protect the people they care about. You must be talking about the Shinsengumi. I guess you understand what you're trying to get at. What? I hadn't expected Kazuma to meet me halfway at all. The Shinsengumi didn't follow the same cynical blueprint he attributed to the rest of mankind. Yeah, and they just happened to pick the losing side. Crap happens. The Shinsengumi were on the losing side. Kazuma seemed to think it couldn't be changed. Below, we watched as the Shogunate army was forced to retreat from the Yodo forces' pressure. They're probably going to Osaka Castle. If they lose on Osaka, Edo is next on the list. Kazuma seems certain that the Shogunate wouldn't be able to keep Edo as a stronghold. And I guess they should have tried staying at Osaka. Just then, a gust of wind blew past us. And then... Ah, oh, we found you two. It relieves me to see you safe. I had worried myself sick, thinking that you may have been caught in the crossfire. Sen, Kimigiku, what are you doing here? I was looking for you, Chizuru. I have an urgent message for you. What is it? It's about your father, Kodo Yukimura. Oh, I think I might already know. <laughs> this will take some time. Do you mind joining us? But I need to find the Shinsengumi. This may be difficult for you to hear, but the Fushimi Magistrate has already fallen. Additionally, the Yodo are no longer allies of the Shogunate, and instead of joining the opposition, if you leave now... <sighs> yeah, I've already heard those things. Kazuma had literally just told me all of this, so I expected what she was probably going to say. But hearing it from Kimigiku made confronting the reality of our defeat so much harder. Let's go, Yukimura. But, but All of your so-called errands you had to do for the Shinsengumi can be handled by other people. However, the only person that can stop Kodo is you, the heir to the Yukimura clan. <sighs> ah, now that's new, so that's how they're going to add to Kazuma's route in, in this game. The resolve in Kazuma's voice seemed to drain whatever hesitation had been swirling in my head. Okay, Sen, can you tell me what's going on? Of course, right this way. And that leads us into the final chapter. I went with Sen to a village situated in a mountain pass near Kyoto. <sighs> there was a serene aura that permeated the air of this village, setting it apart from any other village I had ever visited. For some reason, nostalgia had washed over me. So, this is a demon village. It's this building just over here. The others have already gathered, so let's make our way. Sen took me to an ornate building in the very back of the village. As I stepped inside... Took you long enough. You were with her, weren't you, Kazuma? Hey, sweetheart. What a way to start the new year, am I right? Well, I saw it coming, though. Shiranoi, Amagiri. Ah, what lovely company I am in. In a good mood, are we, Shiranoi? Well, for the Choshu, this war has been everything we wished for and then some. Kinda sucks they needed the Satsuma to help them out, though. So, a senseless conflict fought over absolutely nothing is something they wished for. Well, maybe the humans are dealing with more than we think. They have priorities other than defending their clans, unlike the demons. Huh, you're starting to sound like one of them. 
Okay, why don't we leave it there, shall we? Let's get started. Chizuru, this conversation may be a little difficult for you to have with us. <sighs> Fear not. I think she's a little tougher than you give her credit for. She and I had just battled Kodo, the head of the Nagamo clan, and their pathetic band of furies. With Kodo and Kaoru Nagamo? So, I can assume that means you understand a good amount of what's going on now. Yes. Well then, as you may know, with the help of Kaoru Nagumo, Kodo has continued his experiments with the Water of Life in the West. It seems like they're trying to create an army in order to rebuild the Yukimura village. However, for them to sustain the amount of furies they have, they would need many lives to feast. So currently, they're heading to... The next site of the war, Edo. Is that right? Exactly. Okay, I think we've heard enough. We're going to head there immediately and wipe out every single one of those furies. Sounds like a plan to me. Kazuma shot up proudly, glancing toward the exit to leave the room. Please, wait! Can Amagiri and Shinonoi come with us? I stood up. I'll go with you. With me? Are you serious? Sure, why not? If I can get in the Shinsengumi's way for years, I think it's your turn now. Especially if you want me to be your wife. Or does the fact that I've kicked your friend's asses over and over again not matter anymore? Well, true, Kazuma seemed to have loved antagonizing the Shinsengumi. But he's probably my best bet at uh, having to deal with my dad. But even so, there was a peculiar way he made me feel as we'd spent time together the past few days. He may not necessarily understand much about the human world, but I'm learning to see Kazuma as someone who holds his principles to a higher standard than others. Please, let me go with you. In the past, you have been an enemy of the Shinsengumi, but... Even I can agree that the Furies and the Water of Life need to be destroyed. If Father and his army of Furies were eventually going to cross words with the Shinsengumi, then it was obvious that serious blood would be shed. And the thought of losing more friends like I did in Oe was something I couldn't handle. Chizuru! Sen seemed surprised to see me behave this way to Kazuma, and she looked at me with wide eyes. But eventually... I'm going to make this request of you as well, Kazuma. Please allow her to join you. Really? What? With you by her side, I am certain that you have what it takes to keep her safe. Yep, definitely the safest place. Oh, come on, princess. Are you serious? It's like throwing a bunny into a lion's den. <laughs> oh, come on. He's treating me well so far. I'll be fine. It's not like you or Amagiri are going to do anything. I want to honor her mission to stop her clansmen from committing any more egregious sins against our people. As long as she is beside Kazuma, then I have faith that she will live to see it through. I see. So, everyone finally catches on to what I've been saying all along. That I can protect Yukimura. <laughs> we can finally all agree on that. What? How dare you make this about yourself? Listen up, will you? <laughs> well, please stay safe on your journey. If anything happens, I shall have Kimi Kiku act as a messenger on my behalf. Kimi's coming too? Right, thank you so much, Sen. Kazuma, be sure to watch out for her. If you let any harm come to her then you know what punishment will await you. Who the hell do you think you're speaking to? You think I'd hurt my future wife? <laughs> what is with your obsession with marrying her? You're simply acting as her bodyguard. Oh, come on, have you seen me? Of course he wants to marry me. Oh, Chizuru, there was something I wanted to tell you. Huh? What is that? Why don't we get to hear it till the next day? Afterwards, Kazuma and I found ourselves alone at Osaka Bay. A gigantic ship, as big as a whale, sat in the dock. According to what Kinigiku had said to me, the ship belonged to the men of the Shinsengumi. To think that they were driven from Kyoto, where they lived for almost five years now. I wonder how all of them are doing right now. My heart clenched heavily in my chest as I realized how much I missed them. I bet the road ahead for them is going to be a long, bloody one. And it's inevitable that some of them will die, if not flee at the first sign of danger. Have they done that thus far? 
However, yours is no longer their path. All that you can do now is hope that whatever bad news gets to you in time. You ready for that? Yeah, I made up my mind a long time ago. If the Shinsengumi kept their resolve to fight, even as things seemed bleak, then I need to keep mine too. I must complete my mission. I must defeat my father and brother. I guess, in my own way, it was like I was still helping the Shinsengumi from afar. Let's get going. Time is wasting. Okay. I glanced once more to take one last look at the black ship as it began to sail away. Then, I quickly followed behind Kazuma. For our trip to Edo, Kazuma bought a horse for us to ride. Oh, we're not going by sea, huh? Kazuma put his foot on the saddle, plopping himself on the horse's back, then reached his hand to me. I stared at his coarse hand for a moment, but then I placed my hand in his. He grabbed me tightly, pulling me up with him. Oh, that's so beautiful! Oh, this reminds me so much of, um... Well, I know this was way before that, but... The scene in Rain de Fleur, when we got to ride the horse with Gizlon. I want to do this! Hold on tight. If you don't, you'll fall right off. Uh, okay. I answered him confidently, but... I had never actually ridden a horse before. I had no idea where my weight should go, or where to put my hands or feet. So if I didn't want to fall off, then I had to grab tightly onto Kazuma. You're not holding tight enough. Tighter. I am gripping you tightly, though. Now that I thought about it, I've never actually been this close to a man before either. And who knows what Kazuma could be thinking right now. Just thinking about it made me feel sheepish atop this horse, and I became a little quieter as I attempted to retreat inside of myself. As soon as we hit Edo, we're going straight for Kodo. If I'm right, they're probably going to meet with the Domain's leaders to plan for the next attack on the Shogun. In fact, they've probably already met with some of those bastards already. Right. In order to rebuild the Yukimoto village, Father and Kaoru said they needed to gain power by helping to overthrow the Shogunate. In order to gain power, however, Kazuma said that great sacrifices needed to be made. So, I must do whatever I can to stop them. Holding on to this newfound resolve, I tightly embraced Kazuma as we galloped for the east. <sighs> oh, his routeness was so short! I was hoping he would have at least as much as, like, uh, Yamazaki and Nagakura, but... Oh well, we definitely know he's going to have a lot more in the second game. Because in the original, all we really did with Kazuma was follow the footsteps of the Shinsengumi to basically see their fate. But in this one, we're actually going to stop my father as well. So that parallel story there is what's adding the length. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that meeting with, uh, Kodo and Kaoru... And the last video didn't happen in the original game. But, you know, I'm 40, and they say the memory is the first thing to go. And I never really had a very good memory to begin with, so it's a very short trip for me. But in the next video, we will go and do his tragic love ending, and then his bad ending. Well, I'm pretty sure in his tragic ending, he's not going to die, so... <laughs> it's probably going to be me dying, or... We just decide to follow the Shinsengumi and don't go with Kazuma. That's all I could think of. Well, who knows? I guess there could be lots more stuff. Alright, epilogue time here. January 1868. The Battle of Tobu Fushimi ended with the Satsuma and Choshu victorious. As the shogunate troops retreated, the Shinsengumi headed toward Edo. Four years ago, I came to Kyoto all by myself in search of my father and met the Shinsengumi. I'm going to leave the city of Kyoto, where I made fond memories with the Shinsengumi. He has committed himself to stopping my father, and I have chosen to walk alongside him. We are going to head to Edo, without knowing what fate awaits us. So yeah, I've already said all the stuff I wanted to say, I think. So I hope to see you in the next video or in some of my other ones, and I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.